Part 9. We are going to continue with word problems involving linear equations. You will find this on page 112 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. We are going to focus on problems on age. Now, example 14. The sum of two people A and B is 70 years. In 10 years' time, A will be twice as old as B was 8 years ago. Okay, so we first have to create a table. First focus on the present. Now, l make the first one X, and just like you did the previous sums, make the other one 70 minus X, because the sum of the two people is 70 years. Okay, now 8 years ago, this one was 8 years younger, and this one, number B, was also 8 years younger. So minus 8 minus 8. You can simplify it by saying 70 minus 8 minus, minus X minus 8 will be 62, because 70 minus 8 is 62 minus X. In 10 years' time, it will be plus 10 plus 10. So basically, 70 plus 10, that will be 80 minus X. Okay. Now, if I say to you this statement, in 10 years in 10 years time A, so in 10 years time this is A, will be twice as old as B was 8 years ago. So B was 8 years ago. Now, they are saying A will be the one twice as old, but we put the two on the other side. Did you see? I was putting the two there. Not with A, but with B. The reason is because this is let's just put this is an equal sign. That means that the two sides must be equal. So if A is twice as old, we are going to put it with B. So um, put the two on the other side of the equation to balance the equation to make it equal. So A is already older. Do not make him even older. Okay. So basically, we're just going to solve this sum now. This is x, this is 10, I multiply 1 to 4, and I multiply negative 2x. Take the x to one side, take the numbers to the other, and we get x is 38. Okay, so this one will be 70 minus 38, which will be 32. So a is 38, and b is h is 32. End with a nice sentence. You can test to see if this statement is true by substituting the value of x. So 38 plus 10 is 48. And 62 minus that 38 multiplied 2 will also give me 48. Okay. I want you to do try now 40 number 1 as well as number 3. You can stop the whole video, take your time, try your best, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. Try now 14. Let's first start with number one. A father is now 30 years older than his son. Okay. Ten years ago, he was twice as old as his son. How old are the father and the son now? Okay. So if we make a table, let's make a table. It always helps us. Okay. So this will be two. So it's only two. That they only talk about... 10 years ago and the present. So we can make this one 10 years ago, 10. And we can make this one the present. Okay, so this is the son and this is the father. Okay, now let's start again. A father is now 30 years older than his son. So what will we make the son? X. Now, if the father is 30 years older, it will be X plus 38. But 10 years ago, that means minus. So I will, he was 10 years younger, and the father were also 10 years younger. And if we simplify that, we're going to get X plus 28. We can simplify the expression. Okay. So now we start with, with the equation. Ten years ago, he was twice as old as his son. A father is now 30 years old, older than his son. Ten years ago, this is ten years ago. Okay, so let's make this the father and the son. 
Okay. Now, if I mark, let's just the father. What is the father now? Okay. The father is going to be x plus 28. What is the son going to be? So, 10 years ago, so we're also going to take the son 10 years ago. But 10 years ago, he was twice as old as his son. Who was twice as old? The father. But I'm going to put an equal sign. So then the sides must be equal. So I cannot put the two with the father. Then the scale will do this. Okay. I want the scale to balance. So I'm going to put the two with the sign. And now I'm just going to solve the equation. So x plus 28 equals 2x minus 20. Okay. And now I'm just going to solve. This is like. This is like. So x, if this one comes over, minus 2x. This is negative 20. If this one comes over, negative 28. So this will be negative x equals negative 48. Divide negative 1. Divide negative 1. The value of x will be 48. Okay, don't stop there. How old are the father and the son now? So if we substitute here, this will be 48. And this will be 48 plus 38. And that is going to give me an answer of 86. So I'm going to end with this sentence by saying the son. The son is 48 years and his father is 86 years. Okay, always end with a nice sentence because it's a practical sum. Okay, that was number one. Let's do, let's do number two. Let's just make space again. Okay, so let's start again. Number, oh no, number three. A man is three times as old as his son. Okay, I think we must make a table again. It's always helping us. Okay, so let's call this the present. That's now. And this is in ten years time. Okay, so this is going to be the son and the man. Let's read. A man is three times as old as his son. Stop there. That's the present. So if the son is X, the man is three times X. Okay. In 10 years' time, their combined age. Okay, in 10 years, he will be X plus 10, and the father will be three X plus 10. Okay. So in 10 years' time, their combined age will be 68. So it means if I add, so if I say x plus 10 plus 3x plus 10, then I will get an answer of 68. Okay, so this is going to be 4x. So this is going to be 4x equals 68 minus 20. So 4x equals, and this is going to be 48. And if I divide 4, divide 4, the value of x is 12. Okay, let's just put it in. So is now 12, and 3 times 12 will be 36. Okay, so we can end with that sen sentence by saying the son. The son is 12 years and the father is 36 years old. Okay, and that's how you do problems on ages.